जय इंड डियर स्टूडेंट्स आफ्टर डूइंग एक्सरसाइज 1.1 पॉइंट वन ऑफ द चैप्टर इन टीचर्स नाल्ट मूव ऑन टू एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू बट बिफोर आई बिगिन विद एक्सरसाइज वन पॉइंट टू आई वुड लाइक टू टेली पीपल टू सिट विथ योर बुक सो दैट ऑल द थिंग्स बिकम क्रिस्टल क्लियर टू यू सो हियर क्वेश्चन नंबर सेकेंड लेट एस डू ए पार्ट here in question is mentioned write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8 and i would like to tell you people that over here there are infinite pairs of integer which will be satisfying this particular case so uh, that is why here i am taking one such pair could be and i have taken minus 2 and minus 10 why i have taken these two integers because in question it is mentioned a pair of negative integers so i have taken two negative integers and why only this so let us check if when we are subtracting because in question it is mentioned difference gives 8 so when we are subtracting whether we get 8 or not so minus 2 minus minus 10 and i have written minus 2 as it is but when you are multiplying two same signs you always get positive so minus into minus is plus now there are two integers with two different signs unlike sign is there that is why what we'll do is we'll subtract so 10 minus 2 is 8 and since 10 is having greater absolute uh, value so this is plus 8 after a part let us now move on to b part in b part write a negative integer and a positive integer so let us take any negative integer and any positive integer but thing is that its sum should be minus 5 so which number we can take as i said before that we can have infinite integers in finite pair of integers over here but here i have taken one such pair could be uh let me take now minus 8 and 3 and let us check whether i have taken the correct or not so negative integer is there positive integer is there and let us check if its sum is minus 5 or not so when you are adding what do you get here you have two different signs so you'll subtract and you will put minus sign because here it is having greater absolute value okay now after this let us see the c part in c part question is write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is minus 3 so negative integer has to be taken another one has to be taken as positive integer and i have to take it in such a manner that when i find the difference when i subtract i get minus 3 so one such pair could be here i am taking minus 2 and uh, since i require minus 3 so i have taken and plus 1 because in question it is mentioned one negative one positive so these are the two integers so let us check if i have taken the correct or not minus 2 and in question it is said difference so plus 1 now minus 2 two different signs are getting multiplied so it will be minus 1 and since two same signs are there that is why they will be getting added and thus it will be minus 3 after doing question number second now let us move on to question number third what is said in question number third is that in a quiz team a scored minus 40 10 and 0 and there is one more team that is team b who scored 10 0 
and minus 40 in three consecutive rounds. Then in first part of the question it is said which team scored more. So let us see which team scored more. So let us write total score of team A. What is the total score? In the first round he got minus 40, not a good score. Then in second round plus 10, nice and then 0. Now minus 40 and I already have mentioned in my previous video that whenever you add 0 to any integer it always gives the number itself that is because it is additive identity identity is not going to change of 10 so it will remain 10 now I'm adding two integers which are having different signs so it will be getting subtracted and thus it will be 30 and since this is greater so I have put the negative sign in this way team A has somehow managed to score minus 30. Now let us see there is one more team that is team B so total score of team B what has team B scored so team B has scored 10 nice opening then 0 not good then minus 40 it is going in decreasing order so 10 plus 0 will be 10 plus into minus is minus minus 40 once again two different signs so it will be getting subtracted and we'll put negative sign what you are observing that team is scoring minus 30 team B also is scoring minus 30 in question it was asked which team scored more so since minus 30 is equal to minus 30 therefore both the teams scored equal teams scored equal okay now uh, there is one more part asked in the question can we say that we can add integers in any order so before I take the numbers which are taken over here let me take an example right now I have taken all the three integers as positive integer I have taken 2 I have taken 5 I have taken Four. Now, when you add these three integers, what do you get? 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 plus 4 is 11. And will the result remain same if I interchange this 5 and 2? Let us see. 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 plus 4 is once again 11. Now, let us change these two integers. What will happen? Now 4 plus 2 is 6 and 6 plus 5 once again is 11. Now let us bring a change and let us arrange it in descending order. Now let's check 5 plus 4 is 9 and 9 plus 2 once again is 11. So what you are observing with the help of this example is that in addition if I am interchanging the places then also the result is always remaining the same now let us get back to the question which is asked it is asked can we say that we can add integers in any order so let us see if uh, we can do so so in question the score of team a is minus 40 in first round then plus 10 in second round then 0 in third round and when you have already done this then in that case you people got minus 30 as the total score now let us see what has team B scored 
team B has scored plus 10 in beginning then it has scored 0 and then finally it has scored minus 40 and that is why in question you people had already uh, solved and you people got minus 30. So what you are observing over here is that only the places have changed. So see this zero is here whereas in the case of team A it was here. This 10 is here which in case of team uh, A was here and this is over here of team A and team B has scored the same at the end. So it means that whenever we are adding so and the position is changing then the number always remains same if they are same set of integers so that is why you will write yes we can add we can add integers in any order so i hope that this exercise is clear to everyone so keep learning keep growing and uh, practice more and more